Let's bring in our correspondent from River State, Uche Okoro. We are told that that particular helicopter came in from Portakad. What more have you gathered about the circumstances um, prior to its takeoff? Right now, information relating to this very sad incident is still very sketchy from my end. Why? Because the aircraft did not take off from the Port Harcourt International Airport or Magua, which is known to, um, uh, to, to be the, this location from where majority of air operations are carried out from in River State. That aircraft did not take off from the Port Harcourt Airport or Magua. Rather, it took off from the Nigerian Air Force Base here in Port Harcourt, the NAF Base, from where majority of um, uh, helicopter, commercial helicopter flights Take, um, take off from. We have the Caverton operates from there, Bristol operates from there. Uh, we also gathered today that Quorum also operates from there, and that aircraft took off from um, that particular base. So information relating to this incident has been um, quite hard to come by. Why? Because I also gathered that the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria has no jurisdiction in the NAF base. The operations, all operations in the NAF base are strictly controlled by Air Force personnel. So I also made attempts to reach out to Air Force um, officials, a number of them, to get information. But as of now, not much is coming out from the NAF base. May, perhaps we, we would have known more if um, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria were is the agency in charge of the NAF base, but it's a military zone, so all flight operations there are strictly controlled by the Nigerian Air Force. The circumstances surrounding um, the takeoff of that flight, well, I can tell you that the weather condition in Port Harcourt, River State, well, Port Harcourt all day has been partly cloudy. There's been a lot of rainfall, pockets of rainfall, all from morning up till this point. Even as I speak to you, it's still very cloudy. So perhaps weather conditions may have had an impact in what has happened. But the question, the question now is, did weather conditions have an impact? And if it did, at what point, in, is it at the point of takeoff or midway in the flight? So these are some of the questions that the AIB, uh, we, we expect that the AIB will answer in the coming days. Two crew members and a passenger reportedly were on board, but it is not clear uh, whether the helicopter was flying uh, a chartered service when that crash happened or a training was ongoing as reported in some quarters. Have you been able to gather any information as regards that? Well, uh, like I said, the information has been really sketchy. I've been on my toes almost all day since that news broke, trying to dig for more information. But I, I would say that the difficulty of uh, the bottlenecks I've encountered so far, I, I would want to attribute to the fact that um, it is a military zone. So it is not in situations like this. Um, the military, I guess, have the protocol in how they relate information. But um, uh, the Federal Court Authority of Nigeria seem not to have much to say about the situation in Port Harcourt because, like I said, that did not happen. That did not. The aircraft isn't operating and didn't take off from that um, uh, from that location. As to it, uh, it's uh, what they call it now, the manifest, the manifesto, or it's um, purpose, the purpose of the flight and all that. A lot of all those things, a lot of all those details, are not yet revealed as of this time. We hope that we will get those answers uh, as quickly as as possible. Correspondent Ucho Koro live for us in Port Harcourt. Thank you for your thoughts.